What's up guys, JP back at you once again bringing you guys another review. This time we're reviewing Road Games from the year 1981 coming to us courtesy of Umbrella Entertainment. So the first thing that I want to say uh, before we get into the review is that this film is uh, starring Stacy Keach and of course Jamie Lee Curtis. This is one of the uh, core horror films that Jamie Lee was uh, part of in the early 80s and it's, you know, uh, what helped her as a scream queen. This film was uh, shot in Australia and it's kind of an interesting little history behind this film uh, to pull uh, this star, Jamie Lee Curtis, who wasn't really a star but was about to become a huge star, into their little horror film in Australia. Uh, American actors filmed in Australia, kind of an interesting little thing. Uh, the second thing that I want to say about this release, guys, before we get into the actual review, is that it is released by Umbrella Entertainment and a lot of people might recognize the name of this film but might not have actually seen it because it actually is quite hard to get a hold of in the United States. Uh, it's not really available on uh, Blu-ray at all in the United States. Uh, DVD there may have been a release but is probably long out of print now and of course the original VHS. Uh, but it's one that a lot of people uh, have wanted for a very long time and Umbrella Entertainment has actually made it very affordable for uh, the people in the US to grab a hold of this and uh, you can check out their website down below and this release is for those who are curious is actually playable on all region blu-ray players so region 1, 2 and 3 or actually A, B and C uh, is how the blu-rays work it's um all regions so if you have a blu-ray player you can play this uh, blu-ray and it's a beautiful transfer so this film follows uh, Stacy Keach's character who is a truck driver even though he doesn't like calling himself a truck driver and he's sort of just playing different games enjoying his drive uh, trying to keep his sanity uh, he's hauling a cargo of pig carcasses um, for some sort of meat company. Uh, he has his dog with him who's like a dingo kind of. Uh, it, not really but you know in the film that's what it is and he ends up getting involved in sort of a cat and mouse game with a murderer who is uh, traveling down the same stretch of road and he's uh, kidnapping, raping, and murdering, dismembering, and hiding the bodies of uh, young girls. Uh, that's when Stacey Keach meets Jamie Lee Curtis's character uh, and he calls her Hitch. They decide to team up and try to figure out what's going on with this killer. I'll kind of leave it off at that. Uh, this is road horror at its finest. This is a very solid road horror film. Uh, early on it almost feels like it's going to be sort of a goofy like horror comedy but it, it, it doesn't really keep that tone. It's just sort of a little bit of character development and sort of different types of things to keep the the viewer engaged while the plot sort of unfolds. It takes a while to get to the horror. Uh, there's, you know, early, uh, you know, scenes of horror and then it's uh, long development and then more horror towards the end. But it, it's just something about films like this that I love where it's just a couple characters, you're following them on this road, there's so many shots of the highway and the exterior, this Australian desert. And it's just, it's a really, really cool uh, road horror film. And if you like road horror, you're going to love uh, road games because it is, uh, you know, it, it's got everything that you like in road horror. And uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is actually um, more of a secondary character in this one. She's still a primary character, but she definitely comes uh, second to Stacey Keach uh, and his character of like Quint, I believe. And, you know, it, it's interesting to see Jamie Lee Curtis not have top billing because going into this film, which I had never seen before, I expected it to be, you know, a final girl type of horror film with Jamie Lee Curtis being the protagonist, even though we're introduced to her a little bit later in the film. Um, if there's one complaint I have on it is that it, it, it does take a long time to get going. This film's like an hour and 40 minutes long, uh, but I actually did enjoy uh, the whole ride considering... Uh, you know, I, I like road horror and I like what they did with the character development and, and things like that. And, um, it, you know, honestly, like, I, I kind of like the uh, very end of the film, even though it's a, it's a little cliche and, and stuff like that. I still really enjoyed it. Um, it, it's a kind of it's a pretty unique film, but uh, it's it's awesome. I re I really enjoyed this movie. 
Uh, I give it an 8 out of 10. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, and you can grab this, like I said, from Umbrella Entertainment. A, a fantastic release. I gotta say the transfer is is really good. But guys, there is tons of special features on here. I don't know if you guys can see the back of that. Uh, but there is an audio commentary. I did not get a chance to check out the audio commentary. There is Kangaroo Hitchcock, The Making of Road Games. This is a long featurette, sort of just the brief history on the film, what went into making it, producing it, why it was filmed in Australia, things like that. Uh, then there is uh, uncut, not quite Hollywood interviews with Jamie Lee Curtis, Stacey Keach, Graham Page, Richard Franklin, a lot of people involved in it. If you guys have seen Not Quite Hollywood, it was the um, Ozploitation documentary. These are all the interviews from uh, that documentary and it's like an hour of interviews. Really, really good stuff if you've never seen those. Uh, especially the stuff with Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, after that, never before seen 1980 lecture on the making of road games. This was crazy. This was like two hours long and it's literally looks like it was pulled from a VHS that somebody had uh, in storage for, you know, 30 years and it's so cool to see this and I, I say that in not a bad way because um, it's a historical thing. It's, it's something that um, your surprise still exists. It's it's uh, just the producer and the and the director of the film um, talking about what went into making the film. It looks to be at some sort of university or something like that. I'm not really sure. But that was just very neat to see. I didn't watch all of it. It was two hours long. But I, I watched a half hour of it. Very interesting stuff. Uh, also, there is an interview with uh, Richard Franklin from 1981, a 2001 audio interview with Richard Franklin, exclusive audio interview with Stacey Keach, um, 4K scan and restoration featurette, this is where they kind of talk about what went into making uh, the 4K scan, really cool stuff there, I'm always super interested in that stuff, uh, and of course, you know, you got tons of other uh, interviews and even a trailer. Uh, this this release is stacked. I stack, checked out a lot of the special features in here. Love when they do the side by side comparison of the old transfer versus the 4K transfer. Really cool stuff. Um, I, I'm very impressed with this release. It's it's very impressive. Uh, it's awesome for a film that does not have a release in the United States. Um, if you, even though you don't have to go all region for this, uh, because like I said, it'll play in any player, um, and especially guys, uh, if you have the Xbox three, uh, Xbox One, uh, it seems to play at least region uh, two, three DVDs. Um, it plays all region DVDs, but uh, you know, I don't know. I haven't tested it with um, Blu-rays yet, but th th this plays because it's A, B, and C. Uh, anyway, guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed. Um, do me a favor and 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 you know check this check this release out. It's definitely worth it. Peace out.